Okay, fellas, just got this model completed last week. This is the uh, newest release of Ravel's 29 Model A Roadster. Really nice kit. I had some issues with it, but I think it was just me. But the uh, the major issue was the windshield frame. Uh, the one that I got in my kit was really bold on the top and bottom, and I couldn't use it. So I went out and bought another kit, and it was the same way. So I contacted Ravel, and they sent me two replacements, and they were both uh, bold so bad I couldn't use them. But I ended up splitting one and got it to work, but I had to glue, put so much glue on it to get it to hold the uh, upper and lower frame straight that it, it didn't come out quite so well. So, But anyway, it is what it is. Um, I painted this with the... Uh, Anita's gloss red uh, acrylic paint and then I cleared it with Rust-Oleum's acrylic lacquer crystal clear and that's kind of what I do on everything that I build so it works pretty good you can you can wet sand that Rust-Oleum lacquer after you've let it sit for about two or three days I did wire the engine and I put red uh, boots on the plugs. That bottom radiator hose was a chore to get on there, but I got her on. I had to pull the radiator back off to get it on, but I got her on there. I decided to go with the uh, painted rims and the hubcaps, and I did a little black wash on the on the hubcaps there on the Ford blacked out the uh, exhaust tips came out pretty good I'll show you the bottom here it's pretty detailed on the bottom came out really well I like it it uh, that interior it's painted with a uh, this Model Masters leather. I don't even know if I can get that anymore or not, but that's uh, I really like that paint. That or the uh, Tamiya Buff are really good colors for interiors. I really like them. Let's see if I can spin this thing around here. Here's the front headlights. Uh, I used the medium sized headlights. I gave you three, I believe it was. I wired. Well, I already said that I wired the distributor and came out pretty good. They give you two steering wheels to use. I decided to use this one. I put a little black wash in the center of it. Can't really tell. Not much on the dash. It's the way they were back in the day. Overall, nice, pretty nice kit. Uh, I still got that other one that I bought, uh, so, uh, down the road I'll be putting it together, and I may, this is the high boy version, so I may be doing the other one in that, uh, channel version that they, uh, give you the option to build as well, so, that's how the next one may be built. I do have a fellow online, one of the forums that I'm on, uh, he's sending me a new windshield frame that's not bowed and bent, so I'll be replacing this one. Uh, I don't know if I can get in real close, but you can see it. That's got glue around the edges where I had to really lay the glue in there to to get the upper and lower bar to lay straight, and it's still not that straight on the bottom. But uh, I'll be replacing that down the road. So, All right, fellas, that's about it.